Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah here. Today we're talking Reg X. Woo! <laughs> uh, in this video. Yeah. The other day, and actually it's really weird, was like two or three days before I ran into the same issue. Um, and then Isaiah's had the problem the other day. We want to show something that it'll catch you up on regex specifically with auto hotkey so once you start and walking very through. often and that's the problem it is a very common thing that i even i that i know that it exists i fall for it every single time and then i say oh i remember so here's the thing i'm, I'm just going to give you a quick example of something uh we usually use regex 101 to do the tests quickly um and and you could use other sites and you might need to do the same in other sites too so you have a regular expression that is actually working here. I have two lines and I'm matching at the beginning of the line spaces and the word context. Now I use the option multi-line here and it says that the caret and the dollar sign match at the start of the end of the line. If you don't have that, this will not match even because this caret is matching here at the beginning of the whole string, which is not what you want in this case. So fine, this matches. Now I go back to auto hotkey. I go to auto hotkey, have my text, and I do my caret matching. And then I say, hey, it's multi-line. Let's put an M in here, close it. It should match. It just so happens that it doesn't match. And that gets me every single time. The reason for that is how the new lines are created here. You know that there's new lines that are with just the new lines. You can have the uh, you know, carriage return and then the new line, or you can have the carriage return by itself. And that's the problem. Auto hotkey must be told how to match the new lines and it defaults to something specific, but it doesn't match all of them. So it defaults to carriage return new line. And if you don't have that, it will not match. So what you can do here in the options is put uh, back tick a, which makes it match all the new line types. As soon as you do that, the carriage return A, you go ahead and see that now it matches. <laughs> so this is something that trips me every single time. I forget to do that because on the web is very common to have just new lines. That's very common. And in Unix and stuff like that. But as Windows defaults to uh, uh, return new line, then auto hotkey actually defaults to that too, if I remember correctly. Now, this is the part when you talk about the new line, right? It actually talks about those kind of things. Um, but notice that the default is carriage return new line. Now, if you go back down here, now you see this new option. And remember, this is off of version 0 0.46 up then it matches every type of new lines, including vertical tabs and stuff like that, which we usually don't see those very often, but yeah, it would match, as, it would match any of those. And you can use uh, this any CRLF, which is a very long thing, <laughs> you know, that's the reason why they put this, this thing matches everything. Probably you just want the carriage return line feed. It's really ugly, but it does that. It matches any uh, of those. Now, remember, um, one of the reasons why this happens is that if you go down here, you know that regular expressions are being used with PCRE engine. So regular expressions have different engines. So different languages use different langu uh, engines. And in Regex 101, you can switch between them out here. You can go ahead and use the JavaScript version of um, regular expressions. And just by doing that, some things might not work as expected. So you have to keep in mind that we're using the PCRE version of it. I usually go with the latest version, the PCRE2, because I, I'm, I think it is very similar to auto hotkeys, but it's not the same. There are some things that might work here that when you go to auto hotkey, they don't work as expected, which is, for example, the new lines do not match as expected by default. So keep that in mind. Working with regular expressions is in itself a little bit complex, but now you have to keep the added bonus of, yeah, if you are using a different engine, it might behave differently. So you have to know which engine auto hotkey uses and keep your regular expressions matching that. Right there, if you click on that, 
you would see which options the PCRE have, how to use them. It's a very long document. It's annoying. But um, here, what you see here are a few of the options that you can do. There are some other things that you can do that are, it's not listed here. Yeah, I was telling Isaiah, I used to have a bookmark to the quick reference because I was in there so much. Um, it's very, <laughs> yeah. it is, it's a great page. Um, right. The other one, by the way, because it's not really well known, is is mention the in auto hotkey. What is it? The tilde something for you can use as a shortcut for the regex. Oh right, yes. Basically, you can you can say text, and then you use the tilde equals, oh, and that is the same as regular expression match, which <laughs> means that right now I just have to say. So let me let me put them both one after the other. So um, let me just do this. Um, and say message box text tilde equals and then this guy right here would be what i put here so notice that now i'm not using the word regex match the word regex match is this whole thing the variable text becomes the left side operand and the regular expression match becomes the other part as you're using it in a shorthand mode, then you cannot use an object. Mm -hmm. You remember that in, in other situations, you can use an object and you put it in a variable here, match, right? And now your match is actually an object and stuff like that. As this is a shorthand, you cannot use an object because you're not passing parameters to that anywhere, anytime soon. So it is just for quick matching, whether if, if true. So if it matches, go ahead and do that because I don't, I don't want to write the whole if regex match kind of thing, you know, it's not needed. They both mean the same thing at this point. So hopefully that helped you. If you learned something new, um, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. We're cranking out new videos all the time. We have over 1300 auto hotkey videos and we're constantly making more. Yep. And um, the other one I was gonna mention is Jack Dunning has a regex book, which I worked through and it's, it's really, Simple, straightforward, easy to follow. It's a great way to learn regex if you are new to yeah, regex. Yeah. Um, also, I'll put a link up here of the link to where I have like six or so tutorials on regex, but it's, it's a really amazing functionality. Thank you. Cheers. Mike.